All right, now that you've got the software installed, whether that's SOLIDWORKS connected, design with SOLIDWORKS, or the SOLIDWORKS add-in, let's save in a file and retrieve it from the 3D Experience platform. I've got a file open that's saved locally on my computer right now called Cube, and the task pane, the 3D Experience task pane, tells me with this orange icon that it's not yet saved into 3D Experience, into my um, 3D space. One thing to do before saving in is maybe check the settings and note which space you're saving into. If this is your first time using the software, you're likely saving into the common space as a leader, or perhaps you've set up additional 3D spaces that you may be connected to as author or leader. Now I know where, which 3D space the file is going to save into, I'm just going to right click and choose to save with options. Now I could just hit save and it will go into that 3D space, but I like to hit save with options so that I can also bookmark the file for easy retrieval. Up in the top left, I can choose Select Bookmark, and this launches the Bookmarks Editor app right here inside of SOLIDWORKS. I've got a few bookmarks set up, but let's create a new one. So I'll choose to add a bookmark, and I'm going to call this Initial Save. Now that the bookmark is created, I can simply choose it. My file will go into the 3D space of my choosing, but will be bookmarked for quick retrieval, and I'll go ahead and hit save. Right away, my task pane is showing me that this file is up to date, and it exists in my 3D space. The green check mark tells me so, and if I want to work on it and gain write access and let others know I'm working on it, I'm simply going to right click and lock the file. The key symbol tells me it's locked, only I can work on it, and when I'm done, I'll unlock that so others can, can work on it as well. Now what about retrieving that file? If I close it, from now on, instead of retrieving it from where it started off on my computer, I'm going to access it through 3D Experience. One of the easiest ways is to simply search it at the top of the task pane. Anything you know about it, a description, a custom property, uh, will be tagged. I know the name is Cube, so I'll search it up and I found it. I can use the drop down menu next to it to open it up with SOLIDWORKS or anywhere you find it, you can drag and drop it into SOLIDWORKS. Another nice way is to use that bookmark I referred to. So I'll simply close this file again and show you that you can access all of the apps from the web interface under the compass here in the task pane. One that I use the most is the bookmark editor. Clicking it launches here in the same task pane, and I can switch between the My Session app and the Bookmark Editor from the drop-down up top. Let's head into the folder that I created. Inside of Philip folder, I, I made a bookmark here called Initial Save, and inside of Initial Save, I can see my cube file. Again, there are drop-down menus to choose where to open, or I can simply drag and drop from anywhere into SOLIDWORKS. The same is true now if I'm using the web interface. Here I have the search box up top where I can search for my cube, and I've got a bookmark editor app, which I could share with um, anyone else I'm working with. Looking here into my initial save folder, I can see the cube, which of course I could preview here in 3D Play. Perhaps have a look at it from any device with a web browser, or I can simply drag and drop it or click to open from the web browser, anywhere you find it, straight into SOLIDWORKS.